Hi, I'm Martin Sharp, best-selling author of the award-winning book, Digital Transformation. And today, I'd like to talk to you about something called knowing what you want. Now, this might sound really simple and a really daft thing to talk about, but the reality is I come across so many people that don't know what they want. They've not actually sat down and actually realized or thought about how they're going to explore it or what it is that they're going to need at the end of it, or even half the question to ask themselves to be able to get to that position where they've clarified what it is that they want to do. So if you did the exercise from the last video, then you will have come away and you will now know which areas of your life need working on. But what are you going to do with that next? Now, if you were in an organization, what you'd be doing is you'd be doing things such as creating your vision statement of where you want to be, and your mission statement, how are you going to get there, your goals and your objectives to know what you're moving towards and what you're also moving away from. You then start to talk about your objectives. And this is really starting to solidify some of that ethereal thought, some of those wishes, some of those aspirations in something that's a little bit more concrete. And this is the same thing we can do in our lives. So as professional people or as people that are looking to really push themselves forwards and make something happen, you can start to define what it is that you want to do by defining these objectives. Now, the more information you put into these, the richer you make it, the more likely it is that you're going to be able to do it. Because the spell specificity you have, then the more real it is to your own mind. And your mind is great. Your mind is this fabulous machine which basically makes things happen. It takes something that is purely an idea and brings it into reality. But that requires you to put the effort in. So are you going to be the action taker that makes that happen? And that's one of the things you really think about. Now thinking back to the objectives, there are some really good questions that you need to ask yourselves. And some of these questions include, you know, what is it that I really want? But not just what do I want, why do I want it? And when I get it, what will I be once I've got that? Or what will I have achieved once I've got that? And not only this, but start thinking about stuff like, what might I have when I have this? Because by adding all these lovely layers of information to your objectives and actually bring it to life, it means that your desire, your reason why becomes stronger. And the stronger it is in your own mind, the more likely it is that you're gonna be able to achieve it. It's a bit like if you're trying to learn something or you're trying to move somewhere or you're trying to do something, if it's something you're really passionate about, you'll put that extra effort in. So for instance, how much effort do you put in to planning your holiday? Most people put a load of effort into planning the holiday because it's one of those times of the year where you're really looking forward to it. You kind of spend the time with your spouse or your friends or other loved ones to, to look at various different places, really examine what it is that you want to do. Are you going to do long haul? Are you going to do short haul? Are you going to be away for a week, a month? Are you going to be going in the summer months? Are you going to be going in the winter months? And spending this time actually planning the holiday makes it more real in your, your own mind. And this, this whole exploring, you'll explore the area, the kind of excursions you might want to do, the kind of activities you want to do. And again, this adds more layers to the, this, the, the view of your holiday and what you want to go and do with it. So do this with all your objectives. Take that same approach to put layers of information on things that you really want, things that you need in your life. Or just don't bother and realise that you're not going to achieve what it is that you really want. Hi, I'm Martin Sharp. Have a great weekend. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the subscribe button for more hints, tips, sound bites, and extras in how to be able to help you influence change, build consensus, and achieve a greater success in your life, in your career, and in your organization. So click that subscribe button now.